taking pictures of the Pontiac today because it's leaving. Someone bought it. We have to drop it off at his house because he couldn't get insurance on it. So long, I can't get it in the whole picture. I don't know if Daddy's got the zoom on or not. Don't really know how to work this thing, but... Look at this way, I still can't get the whole picture of the car. Look how far I gotta stand back to get the picture. I'm almost on Mr. Z's lawn. Not a long car, is it? Good old Betsy, it was nice having you for a while. Just the neighbors won't let us keep you. They keep complaining. We need a yard with five acres so we can keep the cars we want in the back so the neighbors can't see them. Trying to get in as close as possible because I don't know how to use the zoom. Father only shows me how to do things one step at a time. Back seats and back seats of this car. New cars today are so tiny, it's ridiculous. Drive power, 389 cubic inches. Pressure compression ratio, 10.75 to 1. Power. Inside? I couldn't hear with the helicopter. Inside? Of the trunk? Want to take pictures of the trunk, of the inside of the trunk? I'll open it. Ooh, we're going to get to see the trunk now. Three choices. There's six keys here. Uh-huh. So you only have to do three of each kind. Ah, the trunk. Big trunk. I'm 
freezing. Ah. Shall we go? We ready? Yep. Dutchess County Airport. There goes an airplane. Woo, where's wings go? Breeze right down the runway. I wasn't. I wasn't flying. Excuse me? I wasn't flying. It couldn't have been. <laughs> Things cooking. Thank you. I thought it was my head. IBM's toys. There's a man fixing it. To go press the button and open the back. Show me how that opens. Be glad to. Good. Yeah. Open the door. You press the button. And it goes up all by itself. Magic. Then when you're short.
you like to look at the engine? Sure. You know how to pull it? Maybe I can pull it and let you know. Which one? I don't know. One underneath there. No. Yeah. Let me do it. Eh? Yeah. And just pull it up. Close the door. And just pull it up. Yeah. The other side didn't release. Pull it up. See what happens. The heavy sucker. Here's to be. It's not falling down. Must be. Of course, fire injection, whatever that means. <laughs> See this one part here? Yes. That's one like that for a reason. That's how all high performance tires for speed look. How do you know that? Brian told me. Is that Brian tell you we're gonna get the thousand dollars to buy new tires for this monster? Yeah, he said that's about right too. About yeah. two hundred and fifty bucks a piece. <laughs> Don't forget about that arrow. Watch what kind of tires they put on your car. Make sure the arrow's going the right way. The rotational, yeah. Yup. It goes one way. Uh-huh. Throw out your alignment if you put the wrong tires on. Are they moving now? They're moving now. This is the engine, of which I have no idea what I'm looking at. It's such a small p place, and every square inch is covered. See, there's no place for nothing. What did they do? They moved the plane. We didn't even see them. What, they do? what the eagle? Hmm. See, not a square inch of space for nothing. Oh, thank you. Advise me you're closing it. Yeah. Father, you got this on Zoom. How do I take it off? Just button on top. Can we just press Here? It? Yeah. Thank you. See the American Eagle? They moved it. Oh, I didn't now even see it. At our car. Good, I didn't look at our car. It's pretty. Bye, Daddy, his new car. He married me instead of buying himself a vet. Now he can't say that no more, thank heavens. He's only said it to me now for 23 years. I married you instead of the vet. That's it, Daddy. Get inside the car and start. Yep, it runs. That run. Cost enough. It's like a little kid with a new toy. You know, little boys have remote control cars. No. Big boy with big cars. That's all the difference. Yeah, we go home. Yes, dear. Are we finished? Yeah. Take a picture of the eagle.
va pas. No, can't find it. Two of them. Where my thumb is? Oh, here. yes, it is. That isn't in there at all. It's running. The arrow's moving. Yes. That's how I know it's working. If the arrows are moving. Somebody's parked their Short Brothers SD330 on my road. Not supposed to do that. I don't guess we'd fit under the tail. <laughs> no! Don't oh, even try! Oh, Father, have you lost your marbles? Well, they're not supposed to be on. I don't go on their runway. Why should they go on my road? Well, they just went under the plane, practically. Well, Father has lost his tree. You got everything out? Everything's out. This is empty. Yeah. The books are in there on the garbage can. Now look at this car. Ooh. Take pictures of this. Keep going too. Got to get it off the lawn. It's the only spot it's got is the lawn. street so that we can get in and out of the garage with daddy's bed. Take a picture of the back and I'll start it up. Okay. Running. I gotta take a picture of the Father's starting the white car. Make sure it starts every time before the guy comes and gets it. Oh, looks like I can get behind the, in front of him and push him out the driveway. Right, don't want to start. Come on, Betsy, let's go. Kick over. Pump it a little more, Daddy. Let me see if Patty's car is open. If Patty's car battery's dead. The only way to start the 55 lately, I think it's the starter. At least that's what Daddy says it is. Look, push it some more, Father. There he goes. Usually I help him push it, but I can't help him push it and take the movie camera. I know he thinks I should have four hands, but sorry, I don't. Can you push it now? Wait a minute. No. Yes, go.
Patty's car wasn't there, it'd be a lot easier. He'd be a lot happier, but. You're never gonna be able to make the turn, it's the problem. Why? This car is in the way. It's not running, now it is. This is my favorite pastime. Pushing these old cars so they can start. Okay. Give father a little push. Come on, father, pop the clutch. Pop the clutch. I don't know what the hell I just said, but. That's right up, no problem. As long as you live on a hill, you have no problems in the world. <laughs> That's what everyone needs. Back to basics. No computer control. <laughs> Start right up. Yep, just roll it downhill. Battery, who needs them? <laughs> who needs a starter either? Starter, nah. <laughs> Superfluous. Get rid of this one too. Have to. There's not enough room in the driveway. He starts it every day to keep it going before the guy picks it up. It's going to Port Jarvis, thank God. Removable door handle, just in case you don't want anybody to open your window. <laughs> Security feature, no extra charge. <laughs> oh, that's father for you. Shut the door. I'm freezing out here. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Father. I'm just looking at the light. Make sure the light's on. Good. Is the light on? Yes, it is. Aha! Uh -huh. It's amazing. So we see the engine of this car. Right there, on the left. Here? Yeah. How about the right? Alright. Whatever you want. Father. Yeah? It's stuck. Okay. In the right hand corner up there. Yeah. Sorry, couldn't do it. Yep. I didn't want to pull on it. Here we have your basic 272 Ford V8. Second year they made it. First year was 1954, this was 1955. Super characteristic. More power than you need. Six 
volt positive ground battery. Smoking after that little bit of ride? Yep. A little bit of blow by. Okay. Okay with me. A little bit of gasoline spilling out of the carburetor also. We'll flood it up. Mm, that's probably you trying to kick it off. Yep. Okay, that's it.